Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabara here. Thanksgiving is coming out this week, so I'm about to review a holiday special that came out on November 20th, 1973, when it originally aired on CBS and continued until 2000, when they later moved their rights to ABC and they continue to go on ever since, in 2001. So I'm about to review a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving the Blu-ray release that's from the Peanuts Holiday Collection. Yeah, the Deluxe Holiday Collection, that is. Yeah, it's a holiday special about Charlie Brown and Sally are about to go to their Thanksgiving feast at their grandmother's house. Only problem was, Peppermint Patty had invited herself with Marcy and Franklin to go to Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving. And I love this special. This was actually very fun. I remember watching this when I first got the VHS tape um, back in 1994, and I had it ever since. Yeah, and, and this uh, Blu-ray release does include um, some special features, which also has um, um, This is America Charlie Brown special called The Mayfire Borage, which focuses on Thanksgiving, Yeah, which they put in HD. Actually looks pretty good considering that I have that on the box set of This is America Charlie Brown that, which uh, the DVD box that came out in 2006 before they re-released it by Warner Brothers yeah that was remastered but this this is a special I I always watched you know just like uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas and it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown yeah. has a lot of great um, Music too by Ben Scavardi. Anyway, let's get to the review. It stars Todd Barbie as Charlie Brown, Rob Kahn as Lucy Van Pelt, Stephen Shea as Linus Van Pelt, Hilary Momberger as Sally Brown, Christopher DeFara, yeah, a guy, as Patricia Reichart, aka Peppin Patty. Jim Arfrens as Marcy, Robert Reed as Franklin, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's uh, created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Bill Melendez and Phil Roman. The special begins just like the comic strips and specials. Yeah, Lucy had offered Charlie Brown to kick the football. Because you already know that Lucy is about to pull it away so that way Charlie Brown can land flat on his back and kill himself. But Lucy convinced him that kicking the football is a Thanksgiving tradition and that he, he's being asked to do so as an honor. So Charlie Brown decided that Lucy will never pull that trick on a national holiday. But <laughs> this is where he says, this time I'm going to kick that football clear to the moon. Ah, uh, Yep. This was also the first time I ever saw a close-up of Charlie Brown going up in the air like that and went and landed all the way down into the ground. Something I never thought I would see before because usually in the other one, you know, he, he basically just you know goes up in the air for, for like mid-air and then bam, right down on the floor. So of course, you know, he's always getting deceived every time this happens. So anyway, Charlie Brown and Sally are preparing to go for their grandmother's house for Thanksgiving dinner. That is until Charlie Brown gets a phone call from Peppermint Patty, who invites herself along with her friend Marcy and Franklin, you know, for the holiday dinner. Yeah, you know, the only problem is is that you know, they don't have much time to have uh, Thanksgiving with them because, yeah, in fact, he was trying to um, speak with Patty, but, of course, she doesn't let him say anything, so that's that's the problem. But with no easy solution until Linus shows up, that's when he explains about what's going to happen. And the problem is, if, if this goes on, you know, Pepper and Patty's going to hate him for the rest of his life. So Linus suggests to Charlie Brown that they could have two dinners so they can make the first one for Patty and their friends 
And then the second one, they can go to their grandmother's house, you know, to you know, just to have Thanksgiving with their family. Yeah, but unfortunately, since Charlie Brown is indeed a kid, he can't make a Thanksgiving dinner because, yeah, like the turkey, for instance, because after all, it takes eight hours to cook. That's a problem. That That's going to be taking more time. Plus, you know, he couldn't do that anyway, and neither is all the other stuff that he has. Because the only thing he can make is cold cereal and toast. So, regardless to that, Linus recruits Snoopy and Woodstock to set up the tables and chairs by going into the garage. Of course, they had to use a ping pong table for it, even though they're just playing some games. <laughs> you know, like basketball and, and ping pong. Yeah, to the song uh, Little Birdie by Ben Scaraldi. Yeah, I love that song. It, it works so well. Uh, one, one of the funniest moments, though, was when Snoopy was fighting with the chair. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and the chair was actually moving by itself. And it was like a boxing match. <laughs> oh, man, that, that was just so hilarious. But anyway, so um, or, already um, Snoopy started to wear the chef's hat. And directly to Charlie Brown, Linus, and Woodstock in food preparation. So they had to go around uh, making some toast, popcorn, jelly beans, and pretzel stick all together. Yeah, while well, they had the, a different theme to uh, Linus and Lucy. So yeah, they're all just, you know, putting, you know, all the toast with butter on there. So, so now they can prepare for it. And after that, um, Snoopy and Woodstock were dressing up as pilgrims. <laughs> By the time everything's ready and all set, Pepper and Patty have finally arrived with Marcy and Franklin, so they went outside to prepare for their Thanksgiving dinner. So they even set up um, all the plates with, um, with all these uh, hats that's all uh, made from these uh, orange napkins. Yeah, that's what that's what they used to prepare, and they also had the the vanilla ice cream filled with uh, whipped cream and a cherry on top, all all set up in all these bowls. So I thought that was cool. So once they prepared, um, Pepper Patty decided to suggest someone to say grace. So yeah, so Linus decided to talk about about the Indians and the pilgrims, you know, all the way that it, that actually happened before, you know, Thanksgiving had, had been prepared. So once um, they got that settled, suddenly uh, Snoopy was about to serve them the Thanksgiving dinner that they just made. That's when Pepper Patty was shocked about this. And, th and that's when Charlie Brown felt really bad. He felt pretty bad because he thought he ruined the entire Thanksgiving dinner, or anybody else's Thanksgiving, but, but of course, you know, Marcy had helped him out, you know, since uh, Pepper and Patty felt really bad for yelling and screaming right in front of him. So Marcy had to help him out and told Pepper and Patty to apologize to Charlie Brown for what she has done. That is until it was four o'clock. And Charlie Brown has to call his grandmother that they're going to be running a little late. But he had to let them know that that his friends um, were here right now and they thought the better solution was to invite them. So, yep, they invited Pepper and Patty, Franklin, as well as uh, Marcy and Linus to the Thanksgiving party at grandma's house. So they all went inside the car while um, Snoopy and Woodstock are just going to stay home and prepare to have their own Thanksgiving dinner while the Peanuts gang are just uh, driving around you know while singing to the song you know to grandma's house we go but then then Charlie Brown had mentioned to them that that their grandmother lives in a condominium, so yes, they live in a an apartment complex. So just just to let them know. 
So yeah, after that, um, Snoopy and Woodstock just had their Thanksgiving dinner by having themselves some turkey. Yeah, which then they, they bought in a wishbone and, <laughs> yep, and you know exactly what happens. And after that, at the end, they, they just have pumpkin pie. Yep, um, this was the perfect Thanksgiving special that I ever saw. I never got tired of it. I remember laughing as loud whenever I saw, you know, Snoopy going for a lot of <laughs> crazy antics that he does, you know, along with Woodstock. Because you know exactly what they do. <laughs> yeah, because it also shows that Thanksgiving isn't just about food. It's about uh, being thankful for your friends and families all the way around. Just like you're being thankful to the pilgrims and the Indians for helping out. So that's how they prepare. To say grace. And, and we think for them for what they've done even though they've been going for a lot of troubles. Yeah, I mean, that's the most important thing of all, especially when Linus decided to say grace. It worked. Because I know Pepper and Patty was just doing it just to fall in love with Charlie Brown. I mean, you know how it is, considering how they're best friends. That that's And that was the problem. I mean, she invited herself with Marcy and Franklin in order for them to, to come to his place even though he can't make a Thanksgiving dinner. After all, he is young. I mean, if he had to do that, it would probably take a long time for him to cook. Because, you know, it takes eight hours to cook a turkey. And he had to prepare to make all this other stuff, and that's, that's not going to work. So that's a problem. But in the end, I, I've, I'm glad that Charlie Brown had uh, worked things out just by calling... Uh, her grandmother and yep they were all invited so now they'll be able to have the Thanksgiving for real so, yeah <laughs> but yeah um, I'm glad that Pepper and Patty apologized to Charlie Brown about that because that was just uh, that was really cruel of her to do to act like this uh, it had some great music from Vince Garrardi that I just mentioned uh, I love all the songs, like the Charlie Brown Blues, Thanksgiving Theme, with Little Birdie, and the Lions and Lucy Themes, and all the others. <laughs> so I thought that worked in the mix. And also it was beautifully animated too. That This was one of the rarest uh, Charlie Brown specials that, that became beautifully animated. That isn't in that traditional 60s style. This was in 1973 so this was um, the perfect uh, 70s style that we we're about to have and this is the kind of style that would last it up all the way through uh, today you know because yeah this was the perfect Charlie Brown special that had this perfect animation because I, I know they were getting some other ones um, in, in the early 70s too it's also interesting that they got uh, Chris DeFaria the one of the voice actors um, that played uh, Pepper and Patty. Um, it's funny because this is a guy that's doing a voice of Pepper and Patty, considering that her character is a time boyish kind. So that makes sense. It's pretty rare considering that, you know, usually they have um, voice actresses uh, playing a boy character. So, yeah, why not have a guy um, doing a voice of a girl? Yeah. It, very rare. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I also love uh, all the scenes with Snoopy and Woodstock just, you know, just playing around and doing all this stuff. And I always loved the scene while the song of Lines of Lucy, a theme was playing, and then, well, you get to see, uh, <laughs> you get to see Charlie Brown and Linus, um, working together with Snoopy and Woodstock by making all the food. It just, yeah, because you can see how they keep popping up with the toaster, using all the bread, and it just pops right out. It's like they, it's like they had like so many toasters to to make all all the toast, and then of course they had to make all the popcorn <laughs> that's like flying around and all that. I also love the scene when Snoopy was was about to throw in all the plates and <laughs> onto the table. Yeah, especially when. 
they accidentally filled a plate on, on Marcy. <laughs> Just when I was preparing it, yeah, it was it was hilarious. Uh, definitely the perfect special to watch on Thanksgiving, especially when it's on ABC. Check it out. So anyway, I give a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you later. Bye.